Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Oh, H to the O V. I used to move snow. Alright, what is going on you guys? Welcome back to another video. As I mentioned in the last two videos, trying to catch up on all this vlog work. Um this is gonna be a recap episode, so it's just gonna be like this. So if you don't like it, then tough. So, After Vegas, if you haven't watched the last episode, uh, check that out. Uh, my time in Vegas was pretty, pretty fun, not gonna lie. Um, and then, just went back to the shop, continued the first quarter prep, took Christmas break. I didn't film anything, really. I filmed getting on the plane, flying back to Massachusetts. get a lot of vlog content but in reality I didn't get anything because I just enjoyed my time off a week off saw family my parents that I'm probably not gonna see again till Easter or no Thanksgiving but that's neither here nor there so I didn't get anything done so it's not worth uploading anything like that if I didn't get anything done and I've had that the phone I was using to film episode one through whatever Vegas was 24. I've had that for like almost four years, so it's time to retire it. Crap in the bed a little bit, so now I have a new phone, 13 Pro Max. Uh, so the camera quality is, is mint. Um, so a lot of new content coming out. So, starting off in Baltimore, Maryland, our very first stop on the 2022 Mod Jam Arena Championship Series Central Tour. It was fun. First stop, getting to see a lot of old friends, a lot of old AT4 friends I haven't seen since 2020. Um, meeting new people, yeah, it was fun. Um, we fought the typical start of the year gremlins as every team basically does. Um, deep down we kinda knew that was gonna happen so we kinda just rolled with it. Uh, fought them, had a little bit issues, had a broken axle. Um, but got through that, easy fix. And then, so that was a four show weekend. Uh, it was freezing. It was freezing cold um, in the pits, but that's neither here nor there. It was fun though. Um, went to Baltimore, uh, didn't really see too much stuff because we got there, did work, and went back to Champaign. Um, so that's about Baltimore. Uh, that was the end of my life, well, my phone's life, so I filmed this cool transition not really but kind of uh, and that was it kind of just got the gremlins out of the truck um, had an okay weekend wasn't the best but wasn't the worst um, kind of getting the feel for the new racing because we have racing a little bit um so kind of getting that back and rolling uh so that about wraps it up for baltimore next week after that we head to kansas city missouri um it was pretty cool it was my first time in well i don't say that because i've been to kansas city uh when i worked for the migas um at the airport but all i saw was the airport so it was nice experiencing like uh like like this it was pretty cool. Um, just downtown Kansas City. Uh, it was, the atmosphere was even more electric because it was uh, Chiefs, was no, Chiefs Steelers was, uh, no, it was Chiefs Steelers because Steelers faced uh, Baltimore, in Baltimore. Chiefs won, I mean, not sorry, um, Steelers won. Steelers moved on to Kansas City, so it was the atmosphere was electric. Matt Isbell, the host, did a working awesome job hyping up freestyle. Uh, he was like, "Yeah, like, then we got a playoff game here in Kansas City." Got like, kind of like, like, don't we have a play? Like, and the crowd just arrived. It was pretty cool. Um, anyway, Kansas City was uh, still fighting the Grumlins. Um, 
few broken parts, uh, an axle or two, not three, <laughs> but got through it. Um, we did get through it. It was uh, cold, not as cold because we were in, more inside, but once you got outside, it was freezing, snowing, uh, kind of cool picture content, but um, Kansas City was all right. We got our first win of the year. Uh, Marky took home the racing win um, on the Sunday afternoon show. So first time on top of the pod for the boss man. Uh, and Kurt didn't win, but he slung one of the fastest cyclones I've ever seen. And I'm not just saying that because he's my teammate. I've honestly, that was an insanely fast cyclone. Um, so kind of getting at the same time, getting the gremlins out of the truck, but also getting back in the rhythm of uh, the racing three to four, maybe even five races a weekend. So kind of getting back in that groove. So we kind of we're fighting out gremlins a little bit still. Um, head back to the shop. We had a we had an off weekend actually, um, and did maintenance, uh, took care of what needed to get taken care of. And then I head down to St. Louis, uh, St. Louis rolling on dubs. Um, first time in St. Louis for me, um, growing up, like I always got home from school in second grade and put on the speed channel at five o'clock Eastern time. And I was hoping that St. Louis 08 would come on cause that was St. Louis 07 with Tom Mentz's crazy, like, not even a cry, like, just hit the jump, pogoed it, bounced on the nose, and just, it was, and then, uh, uh banana, banana. St. Louis 08 was just, just Dennis Anderson, like, bicycle after, or sidewalk after sidewall. It was, I got, St. Louis was one of, uh, the top, say to say, top three venues I've always wanted to go on my bucket list as a fan. Um, not work just as a fan and I got to enjoy it a week off uh perfect timing headed down and it was it was good it was a fun show just the app the show was all right but it was not really it was just the atmosphere seeing uh, old friends like uh Gio Levi Nick Bolger like seeing a bunch of old people that I haven't seen in forever so it's good reconnecting with them met some new friends it was wicked awesome uh my friend Ryan hung out with them grab dinner it was it was fun uh so finally got to say across st louis off the bucket list um so that was a fun weekend all right now back to work we head over on uh, the first stop on our full week hockey arena tour uh which was this past month was absolutely awesome we got newark and elmont new york and then they'll stop there and then i actually that's when i got the new phone so pittsburgh and Raleigh, north carolina Lobs are coming out, and obviously right here in Rosemont where I'm at now. So starting off in Newark, we got there uh, early. Got there early on Thursday. It was a Saturday, Saturday, Sunday show. Well, technically it was just Saturday, Sunday. I'll get to that later. Um, and then we just got all the rigs, and we basically had the whole Prudential Center to ourselves uh, in a nutshell. So it was it was wicked awesome. Uh, Martin Bredor probably if not, yeah the greatest goalie in nhl history uh guys that he got to skate on so my hockey nerd got to come out it was wicked awesome um just we just walked around the entire prudential center and just saw everything uh just we basically had the whole arena ourselves and just the employees just saw us they're like ah cool <laughs> just continue working so it was nice we literally walked around around the whole arena each level um, just chilled, just soaked it all in. Uh, that was a good show. Uh, it was a snowstorm. Um, my first experience having a show canceled as a fan or uh, working it. So it was, it's no wicked bad on Friday night and Saturday. So they canceled the Saturday afternoon show um, and in a Saturday night, basically a two show weekend. Uh, it was, it was, uh, Saturday wasn't bad, um, smooth show. Uh, and then heading into Sunday, uh, Marky had a little scary incident, as you probably all know. Uh, Tranny, uh, caught fire, uh, scary incident, but thank God Marky got out of there, uh, perfectly safe and sound. Uh, he's okay. 
the truck, uh, the truck was actually perfectly fine. Um, just swapped out the transmission and she was ready to roll for the next week. So we had uh, one of our, the Ram dealers that the Hall Bros have been to for a good while in uh, Muncie, Pennsylvania, head down there. They were kind enough to let us work out of their shop for the week. Uh, so we did our maintenance, swapped the transmission, uh, got the trucks ready to go and we head back up to New York, uh, Elmont, New York. We got a break in the new UBS arena and Long Island, uh, home of the New York Islanders. So not as much history, not a bash on the Islanders because if you're a hockey fan, you know how much history the Islanders have. Uh, current, but in the uh, 80s and 90s, they were a dominant team. So they, they got a ring. Um, so it was nice uh, breaking in the new arena, uh, brand new. I wasn't fortunate enough to head up to the uh, Coliseum at uh, Uniondale, um, but it was nice to break in the new arena, so so you know, let my hockey nerd out, walk around, uh, see the banners and whatnot. So that was, uh, that was a good weekend. Um, still fought a little bit of gremlins, but that's monster trucks for you. Um, so yeah, the first four stops on the tour, Baltimore, Kansas City, Newark, New Jersey, and Elmont, New York, were, they had its ups and downs, but like I said, that's monstrous for you. So now that we're in, heading into now Pittsburgh, which I will get to that in the next video, um, and then Raleigh, North Carolina, so you got the Pens, Hurricanes, and now Rosemont, Illinois, this is another bucket list event going as a fan working it sorry no it's kidding um but yeah so thank you for sitting through this uh 10 12 minute episode if you're watching it then thank you but um it really does mean a lot to me i almost at a little over 1400 almost at the 1500 range um so thank you for all the subscribers and viewers it means a lot to me uh i'm not getting paid to this i'm not monetized uh i'm just doing it for fun because this is what I like to do. Um, I like mod trucks, I like entertaining. If you laugh at my cringe or if I ever do say anything funny, content, but I enjoy it. So thank you for people who watch, friends back home, friends in Monster Truck I really do appreciate you watching. Um, so that will wrap up this video. Thank you again for watching. If you haven't already, now I got a new graphic. Uh, I explained it in the uh, Pittsburgh radio, but you'll see that coming up. I got a new graphic, so it's not just the iMovie, uh, iMovie font, whatnot. Uh, social media links below. Instagram, MikeNews37. Snapchat, MikeNews37. Facebook, MikeNews37. If you want, I appreciate it. Anyway, uh, again, that wraps up this episode. Stay tuned for a lot of new content coming up in the near future. As always, Show peace and love. It is a it's a crazy world out there. Uh, everything going on in the world, so it's important to just spread some peace and love because kindness can go a long, long way. That wraps up, and I'll see you guys in the next one. I haven't done this in a long time. If you know, you know. See you guys in the next one. Later.